Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey and welcome to another featured house tour. Now this house was submitted by viewer Simply Obsessed 28. You can find her on the Sims 4 gallery to download this home. And this is called the Metropolitan Lofts. So there isn't really much of description to go along with it. So we'll just go ahead and start touring it and see what we find. Uh, so far it looks really cool. Obviously it's a set of apartments and as always we'll start off with the landscaping. So here we go. Alrighty, so um, I have I have it paused for a second, but I did create a sim. <laughs> he looks very um, he's he's into art. Let's just say that he's one of those uh, really really elitist art folk. And so he I guess he's gonna move in here, but <laughs> for now we'll just go around and see what we have. So um, first of all, I like the greens and the browns of the building. It looks really cool. Um, over on this side, we have a few garbage receptacles, which of course you need for uh, such a large, large complex. Uh, in the back, we have a beautiful pool. I love the tile, mosaic tile around the pool. It looks very beautiful. Um, there's a few, a few, uh, hedges back here. And sometimes when I place a home from the lot, not everything lines up correctly. So I can tell these were supposed to be, uh, supposed to be just pushed back a little. Ah! I can't talk. <laughs> These bushes were supposed to be pushed back a little bit right here. So that's just a, a flaw with downloading the home sometimes. Sometimes some stuff just doesn't line up correctly. Um, but over on this side, we have a few of my little favorite tables with the umbrella and some chairs. So plenty of places for your Sims to relax and have fun. Uh, we have a nice barbecue grill and a little area to plant some plants. Uh, there is a nice large deck across the back. Very cool. It, so far, it seems like a great place to hang out and, and relax and enjoy yourself. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the first floor. Well, and of course, right here on the front, we have the mailbox. And let's see. Whoops. Got to make sure we're on the right level. <laughs> Forever will be a problem with me. All right. So let's go ahead and go inside. And oops, that's the window. We'll go through the door. <laughs> that makes more sense, right? All right, so I'll, I'm going to try to go into camera mode. This isn't always successful, but we'll see what happens. Um, so as soon as you come in, there are stairs to go upstairs. And sorry, don't ignore the fact that there wasn't a roof. There is a roof. <laughs> um, through, I'm assuming this downstairs is maybe a common area. So we'll go through these double doors. And there's like a little patio section here. You can't really get out, but you can stand here, I guess, and look outside. Uh, and then through these double doors are, there's a bookshelf. Let's try to figure out what room this is. It might be some sort of like, um, clubhouse or what do they call that? Like the common area that's inside of an apartment complex, like the office area. Um, so this is like where you can probably get, well, you can obviously get coffee. Maybe sometimes they serve continental breakfast. Um, it looks like there are some public computers here for your Sims to use and a community bulletin board. Uh, some more books over here. All right, let's go back out these double doors and back through and see what we have on the other side. Uh, this is really cool. I love seeing apartments. Normally I tour homes once I've toured a restaurant, but, uh, I've never, I don't think I've toured an apartment before. So this is the first and, oh, we have a gym area. There is a, um, what are those called? A punching bag, <laughs> uh, some treadmills. Ooh, each treadmill has its own TV, TV in front of it. You know, you're at a fancy gym when each treadmill has its own TV. Um, <laughs> we have some weight benches over on this side. Very cool. Uh, a stereo so you can listen to music. We have the mats on the floor to keep uh, keep the floors from getting all sweaty and gross. And beautiful view outside the windows. Uh, I placed this in a residential area of my town, but I guess you could really put it wherever you would like. And thankfully, camera mode's working for me. Normally, normally I'm not so lucky. <laughs> um, so back out these doors is pretty much going to take you to this pool area again. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful and refreshing. And I don't know, what what are all these Sims back there hanging out? Is that a park maybe? I'm not sure, but <laughs> oh, this is so gorgeous. So pretty. I would love to hang out back here. Absolutely love it. All right, so let's go back through these doors and we'll go upstairs. And I assume all the, the living areas are up there. And I think we we'll probably have to go to out of camera mode to get upstairs, so... We'll go up a floor and let's go back into camera mode here. Okay, so we have two mystery doors. Well, it's not 
not really a mystery. Um, I know they probably go upstairs or go upstairs. <laughs> I'm looking at the stairs when I said that they probably go into some living quarters. Um, and these stairs go up to another floor. I would imagine, uh, we have some more windows and doors so you could go outside to that balcony that we saw. We'll go out there in a second. And then I guess this is sort of a loft area. Um, just to guess another communal living area. So we'll go this way first. We have a a desk with a chair and then over here we have a living area um, beautiful industrial lights we have a couple of couches and a nice wall-mounted TV my favorite um, there's a coffee table with some books and a plant and I love the colors in here we got the blue the black and sort of the the corally orangey pinkish peachy walls um, over on the side is a beautiful dining area there is some abstract art um, let's see we got two ways we can go over on on the right, it looks like this is the, the little communal kitchen area. So we have uh, everything you need, another coffee maker. So if you're coffee, if you're Sims, like coffee, they'll love this, uh, this metropolitan loft here. Um, there is a stove and sink and refrigerator, pretty much everything you need. Uh, we've got some beautiful blue cabinets against a yellow wall and blue and yellow is one of my favorite combinations. It just makes me so happy. It's just bright and sunny and gorgeous. Um, and then of course there is a microwave and trash bin. All right, let's back up a little bit and go over to the left. And over on the side is a bar. <laughs> um, sorry if my camera is a little shaky. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, this is a great bar area to hang out, have a drink, socialize, meet all the people you live with. Um, I assume throw parties. Is this the stereo system? It looks like some sort of stereo system. And then there are some double doors that go outside. We have another little, um, patio patio I never know what to call these balcony <laughs> uh, we have a little balcony area that we could come hang out at as well so let's do another quick shot well maybe not because the roof isn't all the way up we'll go back through these doors and we'll go check out the back the back uh, balcony <laughs> um this is really cool it's a little bit dark in here but it's a little bit late and I probably forgot to turn the lights on which I always forget <laughs> Uh, so here is the nice large, the nice large balcony on the outside. You have a beautiful view of the town. I'm pretty sure that's some sort of park over there. That's why there's all those Sims gathered. And of course you can see the pool from up here. Gorgeous view, gorgeous view. All right, I'm going to get out of camera mode for a second. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. We'll let my Sim run around and do what he wants. Um, his name is Quinn, by the way. I just randomly generated it. And believe it or not, the Sims 4 randomly generated his first name as Quinn and his last name is Harley. And I was like, wait a minute, Sims. What, what you doing, Sims? <laughs> um, but I changed it because I thought that was just a little, a little, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he's yeah, Obviously, he's not Harley Quinn. <laughs> um all right, so before we go upstairs, let's go through these mystery doors, and I assume these are the living quarters. So through door number one. No, I was wrong. There's a bathroom. I wonder, is this actually supposed to be someone's entire apartment? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm reading this wrong. Um, but we have a, a beautiful bathroom. I love the colors in here. Oh, and Quinn just acquired the gaming skill. There he goes. <laughs> um, let me go back through the camera mode here. Whoops. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Knew we were going to have trouble. All right. Um, so there is uh, the sink with the beautiful double mirrors. We have a few little toiletries on top of the counter. And I love this clear glass walk-in shower. We have a little laundry hamper and a robe and some beautiful windows here. Uh, the toilet, of course, and a beautiful potted plant. So we'll go back out this door and do, 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 do. go back around to mystery door number two. And sorry, bad angle. <laughs> there is a roof, I promise. All right, so, ooh, okay. I'm trying to understand this. I wish there was a description. I'm going to get out of camera mode for a second. Is this supposed to be, um, what do you call those? Like a hostel? Is that what you call them? I don't know. I'm not familiar. I don't think I've ever seen an apartment like this. So I don't, I don't think this is, well, obviously this isn't one person's house. Um, I don't know if this is something that's popular in Europe, but you don't see this in the States very often. Uh, but apparently this is another bedroom. I love the pinks and the, the grays in here. I'm going to sort of go on an aerial view to get, get a better idea of what we're looking at. 
And of course, make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> oh, I didn't do a floor plan of downstairs either. So let's do that real quick. So again, um, when you first came in, you could go up the stairs to this beautiful loft, or you can go to the left, which is the gym, or the right, which is the, um, the study. And then the floor we were just on, when you come up the stairs, you have this loft area, the living area, the kitchen, the dining room, the bar, uh, the bedroom, and the bathroom. So we'll go up to the next floor, and we've got another little loft right here with another mystery door. <laughs> All right, so we'll go through door number one. And there's another bedroom in here. Ooh, I love the orange and the blue colors. Very nice and modern. Um, the wall art looks great. The mirror, the, the dresser. Looks like we have a little plant on top of the dresser here as well. Um, more double doors to go out to those beautiful balconies. And a little chair with um, a storage table. Side table and a, another cork bulletin board so you could put up your photos and notes and whatever you need to know. Um, We'll do an aerial view whoops, of this room right here so you can see a little bit better. And yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm assuming the other two doors are also bedrooms. So let's go back down the hallway and see, see if I'm right. <laughs> All right, so the door on the left we'll go to first. And another bedroom, yay! <laughs> I love that they all have their own balconies. That's really cool. Um, so this room has its own desk in here as well. We have the red and the yellow and a dresser on this side. Again, very, very modern. There's another abstract um, painting above the bed. Very clean lines, beautiful. And we'll go back out this door. I guess we can do that in camera mode. It's a little shaky, but <laughs> all right. And then we're gonna go through door number two and it's a bathroom. All right, so we have um, a sink with two mirrors on this side, uh, the beautiful potted plant again. We've got the nice sleek black toilet and cute, cute, cute. Um, the same shower is downstairs. Love that beautiful shower, a laundry hamper and a bathrobe. So that is the bathroom. We'll go ahead and go into our aerial mode again so we can get a better look at everything. And let's see, let's go from this way. All right, so there you have it. When you come upstairs, you have two more bedrooms up here and another bathroom. Got some people walking around down here, but yeah, this is some sort of communal space, obviously. I guess a, a bunch of Sims can live here and have their, their own separate bedrooms, but then they share the common living area. So it's probably a great way to save money, I would imagine. So thank you so much. Oh, he acquired the comedy skill. <laughs> um, let's, do, let's do a shot of my favorite part, which is usually the pool. You guys know that by now. I'm definitely uh, a pool girl. So I'll leave you with this shot right here. We'll hit pause so Quinn doesn't keep distracting me. But anyways, thank you so much, Simply Obsessed, for submitting this home. I absolutely think it's adorable. I'm not sure exactly what it's meant for. Uh, that's my fault. I should have probably researched this a little bit better. But I'm going to go with that communal living thing. I think that's what it is. So the Sims can rent out the bedrooms and then share the common living area. So it's really cool. I love the idea. I love the concept. And I love, obviously, the furnishing, the decorations, the landscaping, and this beautiful pool pool. So if you want to download this loft, this Metropolitan loft for your own game, all you have to do is look up Simply Obsessed 28 on The Sims 4 Gallery. I will of course have a link in the description below. And if you want to submit your house or community lot or restaurant or anything like that for me to tour, all you need to do is find me on any of the social medias. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, Google Plus, or you can always email me at thesimmerkey at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video, and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.